Iva. Joining us by Zoom this morning from Bozeman, we have Congressman Greg Gianforte on the line. Good morning. Good to see you. Hi, Victoria. Good to see you. All right. So I wanted to jump right in. Um, of course, COVID-19 top of mind right now. Let's talk a little bit about the stimulus checks. Um, a lot of people appreciate the help that they received, but uh, are wondering if there might be more help on the way for the households. Well, I'll be heading back to Washington tomorrow. We are going to expand the program. I, I am optimistic we're going to be able to replenish the payroll protection program to make sure small businesses can open back up. Of course, that's going to create jobs. But, Victor, I want to start by saying these are really unprecedented times. Uh, people are concerned about their health, uh, their jobs, their where their next paycheck is going to come from. But I'm confident that we're going to get through this together and we're going to get to the other side. We're going to be more resilient once we get done with this first health crisis and then economic crisis as well. Yeah, definitely scary times. And I know people are holding on to every bit of hope that they can. And so I also wanted to ask, um, you know, if there is a second round of uh, help on the way through the form of stimulus checks for households, um, I heard concerns about, you know, uh, maybe single parents or a parent of a child born just this year, maybe feel that they needed a little bit more help because they are on their own or, you know, added that extra family member. Um, was that ever a concern or discussed uh, among the Congress members um, to offer them some extra help there? Well, we, we move very quickly on this. And I, I have to say that fast and government usually don't end up in the same sentence. But we passed this legislation on one Friday. Uh, and within two weeks, we were getting checks out to people across the entire country and getting relief to small business. Uh, the intent of the bill was to provide $1,200 per person plus $500 per dependent child. If, if some people slipped through, slipped through the cracks there, we're going to have to take a look at that. The payroll protection program was really the backbone of making sure our small businesses could open back up. And we ran out of money very quickly. I was encouraged. I was on a call last night with the leadership in the House. It looks like we're going to be able to replenish that program. And that's really where the focus is right now, is on making sure we get help to our hospitals and all of our great healthcare workers that are helping us get through this. And also to replenish this PPP because it's run out of money. And I also wanted to ask, I know this is totally the governor's call, but from what you've seen and what you are seeing, do you feel the state of Montana is ready to begin reopening? Well, I think that's a call the governor's gonna have to make. I tend not to second guess people, commanders at the front line. I will say many counties in the state have not had a single case. I was talking to the Chamber of Commerce up in Lewistown last week and their entire main street is shut down all of Fergus County has not had a single case of the virus. So I think the president is right. We need to look at the specific information, rely on the experts, the public health experts, and do a rolling start. I was encouraged with the president's three-part plan that can start opening the country back up. Uh, we have enough testing now for phase one. We probably ought to look at that in some of our communities. It's definitely nice to see the state of Montana map and so many counties without any cases. It's very nice to see compared to some of the harder hit states. Uh, now let's jump to something completely different here. Let's talk about the campaign trail. You've been on it a time or two. What's it like this time around now that the coronavirus is kind of you know front and center and what people are talking about and focused on right now? Well, it certainly changed the rules. I mean, I, my preference is to be out face to face with folks. Uh, at meet and greets, traveling the state, all 56 counties. I do that every year. And this, we've relied on Zoom. Uh, we've been doing calls. I've been spending my days with uh, in conference calls with industry associations, with local uh, chambers of commerce. Uh, and it's not quite the same. This isn't the same as sitting in the studio with you, Victoria. Uh, I'd much prefer to be face to face. Uh, but this is what we need to do right now to make sure we come out of this and stay healthy. Yep, we're all doing what we have to. Well, Congressman Jean Forte, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We do appreciate it. And you have a safe trip over to D.C. tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Victoria. All right, take care. We'll be right back after this break.